hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. My name is Karen and today I'm going to show you how to create amazing fur on a cute little cat painting as well as create amazing cat eyes. So let's jump right into it. I've already uh, laid out some of the details in my cat painting uh, before I start painting. I'm going to be working from a photo reference from a picture that I have. And when I'm looking at this picture, one of the things to understand about creating fur that I've discovered myself, everybody can have a different opinion, of course, is that it's, it's a layering effect that will really give you that richness. So I encourage you, as you're learning to do fur, to have patience and try not to rush through it too fast and just think every stroke is going to lead ultimately to your finished painting. And the more that you do, the better that it's going to look. I'm going to mix up a special black. So I'm going to take my three primary colors. I'm going to use ultramarine blue and uh, crimson red and yellow medium. And I'm just going to take my round brush and I'm just going to take equal amounts of each to start. And I'm going to mix up a black. Now, I want it to have a little bit more of a blue tone to it, so I'm going to add a little bit more blue. For depending on what kind of animal you're doing, I would encourage you to look really closely when you're looking at your reference photo deep into the shadows to see what other colors you see in there. You can see there's actually some greens in here too if you look really close. But I'm not going to follow the color scheme that is in here. This is very deep um, and it has more green tones in it. I want it to have more of a blue tone to it. So I'm actually going to have more of the blue in it to help create the tone that I am looking for. Once I have my color mixed up and I'm happy with it, I'm going to use my round brush. And remember, with a round brush, you want to roll it in your paint. Uh, the nice thing about rolling a round brush in your paint is that it really does help keep that point nice and round. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to start with my darkest darks. And those are around the eyes, in the nostrils, and in here. So I'm going to start Now I can take a look at that and if it's not quite as deep as I want, I can add a little bit more red to my mixture, which I think I'm going to do just to make it a little bit darker. And I also want to come up in here and remember to Add water to your brush as you're mixing it so that it makes it nice and creamy. It will flow much better. So I'm going to continue just getting this a little bit richer. And I'm also going to do the center. And cat eyes are kind of pointy. I'm going to come in and fill that center in. Do a thinner line up here. The lighter that I push, the thinner the line will be. 
and now move down the canvas. And I'm basically starting with the darkest colors first. Now I'm now that I've done that, I'm oh I've got one more center here to fill in. Now I'll let that dry up there and I'm going to get my um, flat brush. And I'm going to be getting the same kind of colors. And I'm going to start putting in the under colors, what I see underneath all of that white fur. Keeping in mind that it will get lightened up when the white fur gets put in. And when I take this brush and I hold it along an edge like that, I can do a nice line. And I'm just going to move down like this. Let me add a little bit more yellow to this. Remember, we're creating a, um, a black with red, yellow, and blue. You want equal amounts of each color. I did want this to have a little bit more blue tone to it, so I'm just adding a little more blue. But you can get a nice, rich, dark color. going to have some up here. I'm just going to turn my brush sideways and I'm going in the direction that the fur is growing. And I see a little bit here too. I'm continually getting more paint and mixing it on my brush. Now I have kind of layers of shadows that are happening in here. Some of some of these kind of come out a little bit. And then I have like another layer of shadowing that's happening here. So I'm just putting some of these darker undertones in. I'm not worrying about perfect detail at this point. I'm just laying out the foundation. Over in this corner, I'm going to make it fairly dark here. So right in here, I'm going to create more of a shadow. I'm going to pop a little bit of that there. And up between the eyes, there's also some darker shadowing that is under the white fur. So I'm going to kind of put that in. And a little bit over here. And a 
little bit around the eye. And notice I'm touching and pulling and it's creating little lines. And that's also going to help me create the fur effect. I don't want to go like this for the way that I'm doing this. I always want to keep in mind every brush stroke moving the way that the fur is growing. And there's a little bit here. And I can even come in now along the side of the nose and start putting in a little bit of some of this lighter shade here. Come in here and just put a little bit more down in here. Keeping in mind that white is going to be going over top of all of this. So now I see I'm not putting as much, but I do want to at least have everything covered with a thin shade. So there's not as much on my brush now. There's just a light layer I'm putting on, keeping in mind the direction that the hair is growing. And actually right under here, I want to have it a little bit darker because there's a little bit of a shadow there. I could even put, this has a little bit more yellow in it now, so I'm gonna put a little bit of that there just to give painting a little bit more interest. Maybe even some of that yellow up there. And we'll put a little pop there too. Now under here, this fur, it's going to be darker than the upper fur, so I'm going to put a layer that's darker here so that when I put the white on top, it will be darker. And we're just going to put a thin layer up here. So I'm going to rinse that brush off now and I'm going to get my round brush again. I'm going to go ahead and get the, some of the details of the nose. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit of red and I need to add some white to my canvas now. going to get a little bit of white and red and I'm going to add a touch of this blue I'm just going to put a layer over this whole nose And then I'll come back with some more pink and white, kind of hit some of the corners of this. And the lower section is a little darker, so I need to get a little bit more black for down in here. If you want to use ready-made black, that's fine. I'll 
I'll let that sit a little while. I'm going to start laying in some um, base colors, but before I do, I just want to put a little bit of gray right in here. The whites of the eyes are not necessarily white. They're kind of gray. And I only see a little bit in each of these. I'm going to get two different color blues on my palette. I'm going to get cerulean blue, just a touch, and I'm going to get cobalt blue, again just a touch. So now I have the two of those colors. So between those two colors and white, I'm going to start laying out some of the eyes. So I'm going to get some white. And I'm going to get some of this cobalt blue. And I'm going to come around and just do around here. And I'll do the same thing with that color over here. create some little like eye veins. So I'm just going to come in and they're not necessarily going in any same direction. I'm just going to lay those out. I'm using the, um, the cobalt blue. Now I'm gonna let those dry before I do the next step on the eyes. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna take a feel to see if any of this is drying, and it is. So now I can start my building process. And I'm just going to use my flat brush. You can use a um, fan brush, but I'm gonna show you how I start building with just my flat brush. So I'm getting white on my canvas. I'm just going to start coming in Actually, you know, I think I'm going to come down here and start from the bottom, and I'll explain why in a minute. I'm going to come and see, I'm using the end of the brush. Now, when I come over here to the shadow area, you can see by just lightly touching here, I am creating some fur that's kind of coming over that shadow area. Now, because I started down here, what I do here is going to overlap here, which is why I wanted to start 
at the bottom and work my way up. And again, keeping in mind, going in the direction that the fur is growing. If you have any that whip around like that, you can just twist your wrist and it will create fur like that. Now for where I have this darker area, I'm actually just gonna do a thin wash layer. So I wet my brush down and I just have a thin layer of paint. So I just wanna come in, instead of using brush strokes with the end of the brush, I just wanna put a thin layer of white over this deep shadow area. And you can see I'm holding my brush flat now. Then I will come back in and pull some hairs out this way. Now I'm not done with this area yet. As I said, this is a building process. So this area is going to dry for a while now. And I'm going to come up top here and I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to start building my layers. Now around the eyes I turn my brush flat to just pull a little bit of white on top of that dark. I don't want that dark to get too light. Now this is the time when you have to just say to yourself, okay, I have to be patient, I'm building it up. Um, in the classes that I teach, this is the hardest part, part for people to have the patience because um, it does seem like it takes them a long time, but the end result is always so good. And I encourage you to stick with it. The bridge of the nose is going to come down, so I'm f just pushing a little harder here, and I'm going to flat brush it now, just so that this part will definitely be a little bit more stand out as the bridge of the nose.
Okay, now that we kind of have a base layer on the painting, I'm going to let all of this dry for a few minutes. So I'll be back in a second to do another layer. Now that my background is dry, I'm going to come in and I'm going to put another shade on these eyes. I'm going to get a little touch of red and a little touch of the darker blue and some white. And I'm going to use this just along this lower edge. And now I'm going to add some of this lighter blue with white. And I'm going to rinse my brush now. Now that I have that color mixed up and I just want a thin little bit of it. And I'm going to come in and I'm actually just going to go over that whole area. Get a little bit more. And we'll let that dry again. Now coming back to our fur, I'm going to take my flat brush and I'm going to start getting some more white. And where it's really bright, what brightest white is here along the ridge of the nose, up in here. So I'm going to come in and just do some more adding layers of this white. And even where this is, there is a little layer of white over top. So I'm just going to put that in. You can see as I'm adding that white, you can still see the shadow underneath. And I, for this, I am flat brushing it. So I'm holding the brush flat. Now this part was really white, so let's add another layer here. And we're going to start getting some nice little thicker layers of white on here. I'm going to come down here now now some of these hairs are turned so I can start taking my flat brush, pushing it and twisting and it will make little clusters of fur. I can even come up in here and pull 
some white into that area. Let me add a little bit more white onto my brush. And let's get these little clusters of twisting fur in here. Continuing to work down with these layers. I think I'm going to rinse my brush off and come in where I did these little swirls and kind of soften them up just a little bit. And maybe even blend in along the sides of them so they're not um, looking like just marks. Now another way that I can um, effectively help those marks that I just did, I can come back in now with a little bit more of the blue, red, and yellow black just by mixing up a little bit more of it and just come in. Let me get my my blending brush now and just come in and put a little bit more shadow back in in those areas. One thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that these have nicer points on the end. So I'm going to get my round brush now and I'm going to roll it in my white. I'm just going to take advantage of the round brush's ability to make nice little pointed ends on the fur there. Maybe I'll even have some shorter ones up here. Now 
Now we'll let everything dry really well again, um, but we can come back up to the eyes now. And I want to get a little bit more of like a, um, a gray. So I'm gonna mix some red, yellow, and blue and, and make just a little, little bit of black again. So now I have a little bit of black. I'll put that little bit over here and I'm going to add a little bit of white to it. Now I'm going to thin this out a little. So I rinsed my brush off and I'm just going to pull a little bit and I want to come around this part of the eye now. And even pull that into that blue. And I'm going to take some of that and I'm also going to come along this lower edge Now I want to take some of this cerulean blue again and just bump up this color a little bit around. I'm taking some of this black again. Just touching up that a little bit. Let's get a little bit of this cobalt blue. Come up here. Now we can take a little bit of white and put it over this area. So I'm gonna go back to my big brush and I'm just gonna get a little bit of white on here. I'm just gonna do little strokes And we can go back over a little bit of this darker area too at one more time. With just some light strokes. And help us bridge these two sections together.
Now, we're going to actually come in now and we're going to just put a thin layer to dull down some of this so it's not so bright. So I'm just going to put a thin layer of that black over top of this. Continuing now, I'm going to show you with the um, fan brush, I'm going to, I'm not going to get it wet, and I'm just going to pick up some of this white. And where there's shorter hair strokes, I'm going to come in And I'm starting from the top in the section I'm doing and coming down. I'm going to rinse that off. I think I want to just smooth out this section right here with my other brush. Okay, so I want to come up now and, and add some more white. I'm just going to use my flat brush. And I just want to continue to put some little hair strokes right in here. bump up my white again right in here
whiskers in the picture that I'm using as a reference. And there's also a ridge line where they come from. So I'm going to come in with a um, little bit of a dark, uh, make up my, my black again. And I just want to come in and put in a little area of shadowing where the whiskers are going to be coming out of. They kind of run. Have the, kind of have a little more of shadowing here. Now, I don't really want to put in my whiskers until I get the um, rest of this the way that I want it to be. That way the whiskers will be my final um, layer. So I do want to come in and put a little bit more dark. Let me just mix up a little bit more of the black here. And some of it's going to have a little bit more pop. So now I have the white here. So I'm just using my brown brush and I'm just going to come in and put a little more of this shadow in now that's going to help define this nose area a little bit better. The bridge of the nose. But notice I'm just doing small strokes. And I'm light touch. And now I'll leave that area alone. I do have a little bit, the same kind of thing, but with a little bit more brown tones to it happening right up in here. A little bit of shadowing up in this area coming off of the nose. Just a touch. eyes. Darken them up just a little bit more again and let me get right up on the top of these eyes. Now I'm just kind of putting some yellow and blue. And I want to get another layer of the, I'm going to mix the cobalt and cerulean blue together. Just 
just come along this. Actually, I'm going to add a little black to that. Come along this top edge. Just make it a little darker along the top there. Also want to darken up along this edge here. Mix up like a purple shade, just a, a, a thin purple shade. I want to throw in a little bit of purple in here. Just a thin layer of purple. And not everywhere, just in a few spots. Maybe a little over here, a little here. I'm going to take some cerulean blue and white and I'm going to come in and put a little highlight there. Okay, now we can get into doing some really fine detail with a line brush. And a line brush, you want to roll in the paint. So I'm going to roll this in some white paint. And I can create little individual lines. I can't do very many at a time so you have to if you get yourself a nice little puddle mixed up and you roll it then you can create some nice little lines down here
I'm going to come back in with this brush just for a couple more strokes here. I'm just going to darken up the base of the nose a little bit, the underside. Add a little bit more dark here where the nostrils are. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to put my um, whiskers. I want to get a little bit more fresh white for that. So hang on a second and let me just give myself a little pop of white here on my paper plate palette. So I'm going to roll my brush in the white. And since this is where my whiskers are growing from, from these tears here, I'm going to go from here. And maybe in a couple of areas, I'll give it a little bit more pop, not along the whole thing, but just in a few sp spots.
just check over my how things are looking if I think something needs something more one thing with hair you can always always add more and do more you could layer and layer and layer So I want to just add a few little finishing touches to this. Uh, you certainly can go on a really long time adding fur, but I'm just going to put a little bit of fur here, little tiny strokes, and I'm using my round brush. And we'll come in and add a little bit more up in here. See, it definitely is a layering process for me. This is how I do it. I'm sure there's lots of different ways. Um, to find a way that works for you. And something else that um, I like doing is just putting a thin layer of white over the whole eye and it kind of puts like a membrane. I could just put a little on and then move it around. And that takes a little bit of practice. And we'll put a little bit over here. Just make sure this fur down here has a little more points on it. And I think for the purpose of this tutorial, you get an idea now of how you can create fur. And I could go on and on in many layers um, and take a really long time in creating this. But I think for this purpose, this will be far enough. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked what you watched, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscriptions are free. So subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button. That way you get notified when I post new videos. And if you have something to add, put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your views or maybe what you'd like to see in the future for future tutorials. So, 
Thanks again for watching, and until I see you again, happy painting.